It has been a terrible weekend in Afghanistan. A fierce battle between U.S.-backed forces and Taliban militants has killed nearly 20 people in Kunar province. Local leaders say 11 of the dead are children. Six Americans were also killed in attacks in Kunar and Zabul provinces, including Anne Smedinghoff, a 25-year-old diplomat. A native of suburban Chicago, Smedinghoff joined the Foreign Service three years ago after graduating from Johns Hopkins. After a posting in Venezuela, last July she went to Afghanistan. Smedinghoff was killed along with three U.S. soldiers and a civilian employee of the Defense Department when a suicide bomber blew up their convoy. She was delivering textbooks to an Afghan school. Her father, Tom, spoke to CBS Radio today. We're consoled by the fact that she was doing what she really loved and she was serving her country by helping to make a positive difference in the world. In Turkey today, Secretary of State John Kerry called Smedinghoff a selfless, idealistic young woman killed by cowardly terrorists. She helped coordinate Kerry's visit to Afghanistan two weeks ago. She was smart and capable, committed to our country. She was someone who worked hard and put her life on the line so that others could live a better life. Smedinghoff becomes the first U.S. diplomat killed in the nearly 12-year-old Afghanistan war. She never expressed any fear at all. It was all part of her work, and she just gave it everything she had.